Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is gonna be part of the Creators Helping Creators series uh, that I'm making. This one here is gonna be in copyright again, but this video is gonna be pretty short. This one here is gonna go between the differences of a copyright strike and a content ID claim. They're very simple, but they can be very confusing if you don't understand what they are. But this is a short video, and it'll make it really, really clear very quickly. A copyright strike is a strike. If somebody notices in one of our videos that we have their copywritten material, they own a copyright to the material, it's in our video, they can make a notice to YouTube. If they make that copyright notice uh, claim to YouTube, YouTube is going to take the video down and we are going to get a strike. It's that quick, that easy, that severe, that harsh. But consider this. In the whole realm of this situation, what is the least problematic thing to do? Take down a video. Somebody has a claim, take down a video. No harm, no foul. Uh, give a strike to the person for violating a copyright. Now I get the opportunity to educate myself on what I did wrong, make sure it was something that was actually that I did wrong, and then I learn from my mistake, right? So that is the least problematic way of doing it. If they let the video keep playing, then the person who owns a copyright would actually have the potential of more damage to their copyright than if they just took it down. So that's what they're gonna do. So it seems harsh, but in reality, after the fact, it's the easiest way to go about it. Just take down a video, give the person a strike, let them learn what they did wrong, assuming that's correct. Now, if it was correct, then it's correct, it's correct, it is what it is. If it's not correct, we have a couple of things we can do. We can ask for a retraction from the claimant, like, hey, I think that this is incorrect, and I'd like you to retract your claim, then it's up to them whether they do or not. You can also do a counter notification. So if you wanna go that way, you can do the hardcore counter notification. Just like with submitting a copyright takedown, don't make false claims. You better be right. Okay, so check your stuff out three, four, five, six, eight, ten, twenty 20 times. Make sure you're right. Then do your counterclaim. But for the person filing a copyright takedown notice, you better be right too. Don't make false claims. You're going to be in trouble, right? So if somebody's abusing it, I see a lot of claims where people say, hey, they're really abusing this, this, uh, this copyright takedown thing. They're really abusing that. Well, YouTube has it right there. You better be right. You can claim it. We're going to follow the law. We're going to do what needs to be done, but you better be right because if you abuse that, we're going to make you pay, all right? So that's what's going to happen. If, if somebody's really abusing it, if it's really true that they're really abusing it, YouTube's making it, no fuss, no muss. If you're abusing the system, we're going to make an example out of you, all right? Same thing on counter notifications. This is ours. Like if somebody makes a claim against us and we do that, make sure we're right. We might seek, want to seek a, a retraction or maybe we just want to wait for the strike to uh, re, you know, expire. That's our choice. We can do whatever we want to it. If we go kind of hardcore, we're starting a legal process of it. <coughs> Pardon me. We want to be careful about what we do, right? Make sure we're right if we do a counterclaim. Retraction is a better, easier way to go. Simply ask, right? So if somebody removed the video, here's instructions for them. They can go ahead and re retract the, uh, they can retract it and they can just retract it specifically for your video, right? So maybe they liked you, they liked what you did, they appreciated what you did and your video was helpful where other people are like kind of, mm, I don't want that anywhere around me. They may want to remove their video, but they may want to let yours ride and take away that claim of infringement, all right? Um, and if your video was removed, um, then uh, you can reach out. So you reach out to the copyright owner directly and see if you can find a way to come to terms on what that's all about. Now, one of the things I found out here, it has to do with music videos, and this actually showed up in the other video where I was talking about uh, trying to use video in, uh, music in our videos, right? Some of the video you go to, hey, there's some famous people out there will let you use your their, their music in your video. However, there's different rules for different types of videos. The kind of videos I make, highly unlikely that I'll be able to use their video and still, uh, their music in my video and still monetize my video. What's going to happen here is I would have to make a video that is not monetized and then do the attribution for it, but I could never monetize my video, right? In other cases, I may, maybe I had a good voice. I do not, but if I had a good voice, I could do a music video, do a cover musical uh, performance of somebody else's copyrighted material. I do the attribution and they may uh, participate in sharing of advertising revenue with the person. Now, they may have that already built into their agreement with YouTube. All you have to do is go to this section right here, uh, go to other features at this particular point, go down to audio library, should open up in a new tab, and look for the attributions uh, required. Let's get so we can find one. And let's just say we want to go here and check it out. Um, there. So include this attribution in it, and we can still do it. Now, there's other ones that are the policies here. And 
Here we go. Okay, so hey, this doctor's ready. Let's go down here to this alone one from Marshmallow. Let's see if they got it. Okay, now it's eligible for revenue sharing. Okay, so if I do a cover song, it's like if I use this song, right, I cannot monetize my video. So Ray Hayden's making a video like this video right here. I cannot use this alone song from Marshmallow in, at all. I, I mean, I can use it, but I can't monetize. I can make it viewable everywhere, but I can't monetize video. Now, if I'm singing the song, Alone by Marshmallow, right? If I'm singing it and I'm doing a cover, I can monetize it and they're gonna get a piece of the pie. But I can get a piece of the pie too. It's revenue sharing, okay? So very, very interesting deal. So I think that's a cool thing for the artists to do to allow people to do the cover songs, sharing some profits so somebody can still make a few dollars. You know, if you do good, your YouTube videos play, you do good, you can make some money on it. So I just wanna be real clear on that. Copyright, a content ID claim is an action that an artist has taken on our video, all right? They maybe they're just tracking it, maybe they're gonna do some revenue sharing, maybe they're gonna monetize the video for their own behalf, any one of a number of different things, all right? And then a copyright strike is a takedown, the video is taken off uh, and we get a strike, all right? Uh, you either wait for the 90 days to expire or you can follow other procedures, make your appeals and do whichever that you need to do. If you're gonna go the hardcore way of trying to do an appeal and things like that, the advice I would have, and it's not legal advice. I'm not allowed to give anybody legal advice anywhere, okay? So, but the fact of the matter, me as a creator, as a person who may one day get hit with a copyright strike, highly doubtful. But if I did, uh, I would suggest trying to negotiate a fair way around it. Uh, or if it's something that was an accidental thing happened just one time, in all honesty, the easiest thing to do is just wait for the 90 days to expire, right? And if you get hit with another strike, then you're gonna need to do some negotiation with somebody to get one of those strikes removed as fast as you can, all right? So with that, that's going to wrap this one up. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video. Um, make a comment below. Let me know. Share your insights with other people, creators helping creators. And uh, by all means, please, if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Until I catch you in the next one, take care and be well.